Are we here? Hey, Welcome to Canada. Where's my so beverage? Rock. Thanks for thinking right about now. me. Let's do a beverage. We got gin and tonic coming up on the way. MTV, gin and tonic. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't mix very well with gin and tonic. Yeah, we we end up having to host the entire show That's without me afterwards. Speaking of nice, tasty beverages, uh, let's talk about disease. <laughs> the first single. Nice segue. Oh, nice segue. I tried. And uh, it was co-written by, of course, Mick Me? Jagger and yourself, oh, Jagger. Rob. Um, so how did that you know, come to be? Was that sort of a result of your working on Mick's latest solo disc? Yeah, it was actually, that was the intention of it at first, was to, uh, for it to wind up on his thing. And I, I wrote... We wrote a song on his record together, and this song I had written like maybe 95% of it, and uh, and I, he came in and helped me finish the second verse, and and I and I felt bad about giving it to him, you know, because I I liked it. And I'm not used to doing that, like songs that we would do as a band, and so we were doing a show in London. It was a Matchbox show in London, and he came to the show, and you know, and after the show, came backstage and said that he thought. Uh, he thought the disease, you know, it was, it was the majority of it was my song. He liked my voice on it. He thought that, you know, Goddess in the Doorway was pretty much wrapped up and it didn't fit into that record. It was a whole different kind of a song. You can rely on me, honey. You can come by any time you want. What kind of music were you listening to while you were making this record? I understand that you're all, you're all huge Wilco fans. Yeah, we love Wilco. I think him, the Rob, and the Paul... They love the Wilco and the Kyle. Does Kyle like Wilco? I think Kyle likes it. But Kyle's like, we're out say like part of our, like Kyle's into like 1940s jazz. Like seriously, he'll listen to like Benny Goodman and, you know, Lawrence Welk stuff sometimes. Like literally just weird stuff. And African tribal music, you know? Burt Bacharach. He yeah. like all day long we hear like Dean Martin. Doo, 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 really but, we're, uh, but we're all into like, uh, we're all into like Coldplay and the, and the new David Gray. You know, we were all listening to a lot of classic rock when we were making this, you know, because we were in Bearsville. So, you know, we'd listen to a lot of, you know, uh, we pull out all of our mm -hmm. Tom Petty records and our, you know, Blue Oyster Cult records. Crazy yeah. spectrum of diversity that we were listening to all kinds of. Well, I gotta say, the Xan is also into the Wilco. Ooh, the yeah, because it's, it's it's one of the greatest bands of all time, and and I think that uh, Summer Teeth, which is one of their albums, if you don't have it, you should go buy Wilco Summer Teeth. It's nothing. I mean, it's not like what we do, but you know, it's. It's like it's kind of like you know because we listen to Wilco and, and we love the way that, like we love the way acoustic guitars sound on a Wilco album. So we wanted our our guitars. You know, we'll never be Wilco, but it'd be so great if we could make sonically and tonally those things sound that way. So that was you know that's always been a big influence on yeah, us. Yeah, and their latest album Yankee Hotel yeah, Foxtrot is also very very cool. Yeah, I love that. I'm an American Aquarium drinker. There you go. All right, more still to come with Matchbox Twenty. Let's check in with Brian.